Tigers hosted Hobart last night at Flinders Park. This was a very tough game. The Devils are a different team for sure in 95. Gaze and Copeland working their moves to keep Melbourne narrowly ahead. Devils, a very solid team, and they kept chipping away too. Jerome Scott, nice little pass inside, and Andre Moore showing some low post moves to get the two points for them. Now, Gaze typically never allowed Hobart to get on top. He pots this three, and Melbourne leads by four points at the first break. Dave Simmons was in for a very good night, and they needed from him. In Bradkey's absence, of course, a lot of responsibility has fallen on him, and he gets inside for two points here in the paint. This is one of several steals made by the Tigers, who rely heavily now on their mid-court skills. Whitehead affected it and gets on the end of that nice little Copeland slick pass. Good execution from the Tigers. Hobart was able to do a little damage in the same way. Jerome Scott, clearly their key player, he got Darren Smith away there for the jam. And Andre Moore is thriving. Hobart outscored Melbourne in the second quarter to tighten the game right up. And here Andre Moore gets on the assist stats. He sets up Darren Smith, who's really improving. He had 21 points and gets better with every minute he plays. The Tigers shot a very high percentage, considering they're not getting inside very often because of their lack of authority on the boards. But it's this slick transition game that helps, and Dave Simmons is one of the few big men in the game who can run the floor like that. Third quarter, and again it was tight. Moore gets on the end of a Smith assist, and going into the final term, Melbourne is in front by only three. Typical play coming up here for the Tigers. Copeland with the alley-oop play. And in the final quarter, their superior teamwork and backcourt talent showed through. Dave Simmons getting on the end of the Copeland alley-oop. And he not only scored Copeland, he did a very good job containing Jerome Scott to 21 points and only four assists. There was a steal and a fast break. Melbourne looks very much like the team of 1992 now that they've lost Bradkey. Lindsay Gay said before the season they'd just have to make do, and they are. The Tigers.